friends, it's Living Young Country Girl, and I am here to share with you guys my fall home tour. Now, I just want to say something off the bat. Um, this is not in any way to boast or brag like about our home by any means. It's simply to share with you guys and get ideas. We do not spend a lot of money on our home decor. I'm really into reusing and repurposing a lot of things wherever I can um, and just mixing it up. I would say majority of my products or most majority of my decorations were bought at the Dollar Tree um, or at Hobby Lobby, either when it was 80% off at the end of fall a couple years ago or whatever, um, or when it's 40% off, there's a couple pieces that I did pick up this year when they're 40% off. That being said, I just wanted to share with you guys to give you guys some ideas, some inspirations. I love watching these videos and seeing what other people have done. Um, and then I try to basically copy it for a cheaper price. So I'm going to flip this camera. We're going to start out here and show you my wreath that really is pretty darn simple and not very impressive. Let's get real. But we have a lot of wind in our area. As you can see right now, just this is like a beautiful breeze. This isn't really too windy. But this morning it was storming and crazy. So I can't really do a lot on our front porch or front door because of the direction it faces. It the wind hits it and so things get blown around or messed up so I figure what's the point we also live out in the country there's only one house past our road like so no one drives past the front of our house so it's simply for when we have company come over for you know just our own personal enjoyment so I really don't do a lot my basic porch area over here behind me stays the same pretty much all year round with that little table and chairs um, I showed you guys doing our spring home tour that really doesn't change. The only thing that I really change is this decoration on the door. So I've already talked a lot. So let's get inside and show you guys what our home looks like for this fall. Okay, so here is our front door. We actually painted it from last year, if you remember, it was blue. I still, I bought like the big trim to go around the edges. Um, and I want to add that to it, but I haven't had a chance. It kind of got hot. <laughs> And once it gets hot, I don't work outside much. So, um, but this is our wreath. It's nothing fancy, just something really simple. We have quite a bit of wind here, so I don't do a lot of decorating on the porch, but let's go on inside. Hi puppies. We're greeted by a bunch of our puppies. All right, so here as we go in, we have our school room right off to the left. And there is just a simple little pumpkin right here and a little thankful sign right here. We don't do a lot in this room just because there's already a lot going on. So we keep it pretty simple and just add a couple things um, and that's pretty much it. And then we have our entry table. this is our entry table um, we I changed out a few things from last year still have not painted this dresser but um, switched out a few things moved some of the things around that we had before switched out these chairs these chairs were actually outside um, around our patio for the summer and I decided to bring them in and remove the ones that had the fabric because they were just so dirty and gross I found these pillows which I absolutely love at Target and here's something I absolutely love too is the back side is just checkered so when it's not so when it's not fall I can have them flipped around and they will look absolutely cute so for now back to the pumpkins because we are in fall and then we just have a few different um, displays right here. Most of the pumpkins I have, um, like all the decorations right here are from the dollar store. The signs, the pumpkins, the thankful sign, the metal sign, the metal pumpkin with the lights is from Hobby Lobby, as well as the lantern with um, the arrangement in here. I believe, actually a few of these picks did come from um, the Dollar Tree, but most of them are from Hobby Lobby. My other one has more Dollar Tree stuff and less Hobby Lobby stuff. So it kind of just depends how, you know, how you make them. And it just works out really good. And then we just have this as our little entryway gallery wall. We just added a sunflower to the wreath. And then, like I said, just, you know, added some sunflowers and some fall picks to the bouquet that's normally there on the table. 
And that is that. Let's move on to our living room. mantle that we have in our living room. Um, I actually picked up that burlap and checkered garland piece in the Christmas section and so I will use it for Christmas and just add Christmas themes to it because we do do the, the checkered the red and black and the black and white checkered at Christmas so I will take down the thankful and just add some you know Christmas stuff to it but it works out really good. There are actually little fairy lights in that lantern and all of those candles are LED um, candles that I can just flip on. We don't use any regular candles in our home just to keep toxins out, but this was just a really simple, I just added a few things. A lot of the stuff is normally there. Um, so I just added basically the banners and the sunflowers and a couple little pumpkins on the ends. Um, and then we just threw a couple pumpkins in front of our TV there. And then we have this absolutely cute hay pumpkin pillow that we picked up from Hobby Lobby. It was just a cover. I love buying just the covers because then you don't have all the storage of full pillows. So I grabbed that one. There was only one, and so we put it on this chair. And then we have our Darling diffuser stand with our Aria diffuser. And that's how we get our wonderful fall smell is using our diffuser so that it's healthy and we're not putting toxins in our air. And then I just put a little pumpkin that I picked up at Hobby Lobby on the bottom. And there's our little Bindi. She says, I got my bed. Usually she sleeps on this carpet and you can't even see her. She like camouflages. So <laughs> it's always better when she's on there. Um, and then over in this corner, we have this little display. This one, like I said, is more Dollar Tree. Actually, there's only two picks that are from Hobby Lobby and then a little scarecrow. Um, and then a couple pumpkins. And I normally have the checkered on there, and then I just been adding some of the burlap um, for more fall, and then I just switch it out with different flowers. So it's always there. It's just switching out the flowers. And then we have these darling pum uh, pillow covers that we also picked up from Hobby Lobby, the black and white checkered ones. The gray ones we picked up from, and the white ones, I believe, came from Ikea. I know the gray ones did, and I think the white ones did too. And we just rearranged our couch to face this direction. <laughs> And then we picked up, or I have a couple little pumpkins here on this table as well, just to kind of accent a few things. Super simple, not a lot of stuff. So let's go to the bathroom and I'll show you the very few decorations, but at least there's a little something in the bathroom. Okay, so for the bathroom, we literally have a couple pumpkins here off in the corner and this darling little owl. Um, on top of the toilet paper rack. So not a lot of stuff, um, as well as our happy fall y'all sign. So I usually switch out this sign. We have one that's just basic and then we have one that we will switch out for the different seasons for their bathrooms. Otherwise we keep it pretty darn simple. Um, not really anything too complicated because it's a small bathroom. You really can't add too much. So trying to keep it simple. Now let's move on to the kitchen, dining room and coffee bar. coffee bar. We removed some of the summer lemons um, and added some pumpkins. I did keep my lavender up here just because I really love lavender. Um, so I did keep the lavender here and didn't switch it out for a fall theme, but I have lavender on a cup too as well. And I just love lavender. So I <laughs> kept it there. We have a couple pumpkins here that we picked up at Hobby Lobby a few years ago. Um, and then some more Dollar Tree signs and harvest signs from Dollar Tree. And I love Tomp's. I love the little legend of the Tomp, how he guards your home, the little Swedish Tomp. And so um, when we saw this at, I think it was Marshall's, I had to grab it. So he's just sitting on top of a bucket back there. 
and then a couple more pumpkins and signs. And then we have our little coffee stand over here. And see, there's my little farm girl that has the lavender on it. So I like to keep it there. The little, the little can on top with the flowers did come from Walmart. It was like three or four dollars. And then the checkered pumpkins, it was a bag of them that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. And then that absolutely darling pumpkin kisses and harvest wishes was from the dollar store. And that is our coffee bar. We are all set. We put some hot cocoa back in there. I will be doing a pumpkin spice latte video here coming up soon. So if you guys want to see that, be sure to subscribe. And I'll do a whole tour of my coffee bar when I share that recipe with you. Let's go to the dining room, which isn't far. We're just going to flip around here. <laughs> All right, so here's our dining room. We have these absolutely darling, I love these farm style chairs. Um, I recovered this bench a couple of years ago, about a year and a half ago, I think, with this checkered. It actually should be recovered because it's starting to fade and it's kind of getting stained. But um, I just buy some fabric from Hobby Lobby and I recover it every so often and it works really good. <laughs> Picked up the table runner at Hobby Lobby and that little feed trough is what I think it is <laughs> from Hobby Lobby as well. Um, I don't, I, I believe I got the napkin holder at Hobby Lobby. I've had it for a while too. And then just filled it with some raffia and then some um, pumpkins. And there actually are little twinkle fairy lights in there as well. So at night it looks really pretty all lit up. So we love that. And then we actually have this little um, checkered thing above our window all year long so it just kind of blends in really good with all the rest and then we have the similar one over here above the coffee bar so it just kind of ties the whole area together with the black and white checkered because we have black and white checkered and gray and white checkered throughout our home so let's go to the kitchen now Above our cabinets that just say you know happy harvest pick them up at the Dollar Tree um, and then actually these little wooden signs this happy harvest sign I picked up at the Dollar Tree as well as these pumpkins and I actually um, painted them with some acrylic paint to make them white because they were colored and then again don't have much in the kitchen because I feel like there's already quite a bit here um, this is probably the most is right here with the little sign and the pumpkins and the sunflowers and then I do have, I'm missing a bag of my fall decorations or box of it, so I'm not sure what's going on. Oh, that's crazy. My diffuser looks rainbow. It's just white. <laughs> and then we just have a couple things in the windowsill and then a couple signs over here. So really nothing too crazy in the kitchen. Again, um, I don't like have a lot of stuff. I don't like to have a lot of stuff on in, on the counters and I already do have a lot so I don't really like it we did get that little let's bake a pie from Target um, and it came with that checkered one and so I would have bought it anyways just for the checkered one <laughs> but all the checkers are already there and it just works so good with the fall so it's really simple to decorate okay so there we go that's our fall home tour I hope you guys enjoyed it be sure to subscribe if you guys are interested in watching how I make our pumpkin spice latte and for a full tour of our coffee bar behind me um, it's something I really enjoy doing after being a barista for many years is being able to replicate those drinks at home I did not work at Starbucks, so it's not that place But um, I did work at a private coffee shop a couple different private coffee shops And I absolutely loved it And so being able to replicate those drinks at home is something I enjoy sharing when friends come over and Because I've gotten such good feedback from people. I like to share those recipes with all of my subscribers here on YouTube. So if you guys are interested in that, be sure you hit the subscribe button because that will be coming up here shortly. And thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have a beautiful fall and we'll see you all again real soon. Mm -hmm.